Well, here we are in the ancient town of Jericho, thought to be one of the oldest towns on earth. It's here at Jericho that uh, wheat was uh, first domesticated and people had a, 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 a renewable crop and so they could begin building a city and living together in community. And uh, many scholars think that was somewhere between eight, maybe 10,000 BC. And so long, long time, Jericho was an old city. You remember some of the people that came from Jericho and many of them in the Bible. Uh, one in particular that I've always related to because he's a short guy and his name was Zacchaeus. Hear the story of Zacchaeus in Luke chapter 19. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but being short, he couldn't because of the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him since Jesus was coming that way. And behind us you see an ancient and very tall sycamore fig tree. Here in Jericho, it's thought to be the holy tree because it's whenever we look at this tree, of course it's not the exact tree that, that uh, Zacchaeus climbed, but it's a tree much like it. And it reminds us of the great story. He ran ahead, climbed the fig tree because Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I've got to stay at your house today. That must have really surprised Zacchaeus. He came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, Look, he's gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I've cheated anyone, I'll give back half of what I have. And I'll pay back four times the amount of what I've cheated them. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house. Because, of this, because this man, too, is the son of Abraham, the son of man came to seek and to save that which was lost. Zacchaeus uh, was lost without Christ. When Christ came to him and filled his heart, uh, one of the surest signs of his salvation, according to Jesus, was that he became a more generous person. He was living not only for himself, but for others. There's no uh, indication that Jesus led him through the four spiritual laws or even prayed with him, though we can assume that he probably did pray. Zacchaeus was known as someone whose life was different because he was willing to give back to the poor. He was willing to give back to those he cheated. He was willing to live for someone else, not just for himself. And that's a great lesson for you and for me. All the way from Jericho.